A recent rumor has emerged generating significant interest in the gaming scene, particularly concerning the RTX 4080 Super and other GPUs within the 40 series. Although this information is still just speculation, it's worth noting that the source of these details is considered highly trustworthy by many tech enthusiasts. Let's find out more about it. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes Ten Studio, a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with Ten Studio today. Copilot 7 Kimi, a renowned NVIDIA insider and a leaker from X formerly known as Twitter, has taken center stage in delivering some intriguing details about this highly anticipated GPU. With a proven track record of accurate predictions in the past, his insights carry significant weight in the tech community, especially when it comes to the news related to GPUs. According to his latest tweet, the RTX 4080 Super is rumored to be equipped with the AD103400 GPU SKU, which will be designed to cater to demanding gaming scenarios. The standout feature is the staggering 10,240 CUDA cores, a substantial increase over the non-Super variant's 9,728 CUDA cores. This power boost may make a considerable impact on gaming performance, promising smoother and more immersive gaming experiences. While it's expected to maintain a 256-bit memory bus similar to the non-super variant, there's a possibility that we might get to see a higher memory speed. Some even speculate that Nvidia might push it towards the 20GB option, which would definitely make it a great super variant card. Overall, if the rumors are correct, we are likely to see a 5% performance increase on the new RTX 4080 Super. Along with the RTX 4080 Super rumors, Copilot 7 Kimi also leaked information about the RTX 4070 Ti Super. It has been rumored to be equipped with the 8103275 or 8102175 GPU SKU and 8448 CUDA cores. A notable bump from the standard Ti variant 7680 CUDA cores. Rumors also suggest a faster 24 Gbps GDDR6X memory which could translate into a substantial 10% performance increase over its non-TI counterpart. Additionally, the RTX 4070 Super powered by the 8104350 or the 8103175 GPU SKUs is rumored to arrive with 7168 CUDA cores, which is a significant leap from the base RTX 4070's 5888 CUDA cores. These GPUs are also speculated to include 48 MB of L2 cache, potentially leading to an impressive 22% increase in performance. Now, it's important to keep in mind that while these leaks and rumors are certainly intriguing, they should be taken with a grain of salt. Copilot 7 Kimi, a reputable source in the tech community, has voiced some reservations specifically concerning the RTX 4070 Ti Super variant. As is often the case with such early information, a healthy dose of skepticism is advisable until Nvidia provides its official announcement about the new graphics card lineup. As of now, Copilot 7 Kimi has not disclosed any details regarding the pricing and release date. Given Nvidia's history, it's reasonable to anticipate a potentially higher price point for the RTX 4080 Super and the other leaked variants. However, another well-known YouTube leaker with a channel named Moore's Law is Dead shared some pretty great speculation for the prices. From the highest to lowest, here he provided a few possible price ranges for each of these GPUs. If we talk about the lowest, the RTX 4080 Super with 16GB can cost $1199 and for the highest, it can go as up to $1249. For the 4070Ti Super, according to him, it could start at $849 as the lowest and $999 as the highest price point. And for the 4070 Super, the price here is set up to $649 for the lowest and $699 as the highest. In the end, we should not forget that these are just rumors for now and anything can change at the moment. 
All we can do right now is wait for the official announcement and find out what Nvidia actually brings to the table.